How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. I just got enough scraps to build the anti-psychotic headband. It emits a bunch of noise and it like a duck and a slot opens. Elvis brought us scraps, pack in, reopens, having converted your garbage into one of those headbands. This headband contains some sort of ancient machinery that prevents psychotic waves from passing through it. Minus mysticality, but also minus to psychotic tendencies. It didn't say that, but I'm inferring, so I think it's worth it. I think I think the guy can afford to be a, a teensy bit less mystical if it means that he literally, you know, gets his sanity and his life back. So let's help him out, why don't we? The plan was going to be to head to Ghostwood next, but now I got this storyline picked back up again. He's totally out of it. Put the headband on him. You put the headband on him and he blinks rapidly, shaking his head. Oh, oh my goodness, where am I? Has he been eating this whole time? Has he remembered to eat at least? Uh, I'm still in the mine? Uninjured? And hungry but not starving, that answers that. So I I can't have been here very long, perhaps a day? Oh, good, good. Well, I must have you to thank, friend. Now do you feeling better? Oh, I should say so. Thank you for outfitting me with this remarkable device. Don't mention it. What's your name? Also, weird headband. It doesn't actually like cinch around his head, it just sits on top. Murray, Murray Morris, excavator of the unknown and purveyor of mysteries. Fancy, what brings you to this mine? Why, excavating the unknown for mysteries to purvey, of course. Or at least attempting to, I must admit that until you put this device on me, I was quite overcome. Overcome? Quite! I'm oversensitive to psychotic emanations, you see. Always have been. <laughs> you, do you encounter that often in your life? When did you first encounter it and learn this? As it happens, this curious little hole is absolutely overflowing with them, and they're none too friendly. I can tell you that for certain. It was risky business, my coming down here, but I took the gamble and lost. It's a miraculous thing that you happened by when you did, my friend. We should both get out of here as soon as possible. I've been staying in dirt water? Well, let's just go together. He shakes your hand and heads out the mine entrance. Shit. I hope you went to dirt water. <laughs> <laughs> I better I better go ahead there. I should have told him should have told him that was gonna be our meeting spot. Ooh, recover some of those scraps. Just nice and quick. Should pretty much blow those things away like nothing. Damn, I want to acquire scraps more easily. I just had to I just wasted my keystone there very 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 recently. Oh, if anywhere he's probably in the saloon, right? Gotta drink off some of the crazies. I think I made a mistake. Is he just waiting outside the mine? I hope I didn't really screw up and just send him away and now I'm just going to be totally stuck. I hope I didn't just kill that storyline. Oh, thank goodness. There he is. You're still here? Yes, well, the fact of the matter is I've nowhere in particular to go. Any recommendations? Yeah, dirt water. I should have said that before. I'm staying dirt water to the south. You should probably do you could probably do some good business purveying mysteries there. A capital idea. Then I shall see you there. He hefts his pack on his shoulder and leaves his wave. See you later. Ta ta. Now I'll head down there. Is he gonna open like a fortune teller's shack or what kind of what kind of business is he planning on opening up here? Liquid Brewing, and Murray's Curiosity and Bean. How many open lots are there still? Two. But maybe three? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> I forgot about that sign. That's so great. Ooh, look at the ambience in here. Well, hello again. Thank you for telling me about this town, my friend. It's a marvelous location. There's two good turns you've done me. Ah, don't mention it. Speaking of which, here's your curious headband back. Fortune willing, I won't be needing it again. No more gambles like that for me. Well, maybe you ought to just, like, hang on to it, man. You don't know when another crazy spell is going to come on, but I guess when it does, you're probably not going to know to put the headband back on. So whatever, I'll, I'll take it. Why is it so dark in here? Atmosphere, my friend. I sell mysteries, things which cannot be properly explained in the cold light of day. Why not? Well, it just wouldn't be any fun. Well, okay. Where's all your merchandise? In the locked case behind me. These are things that must be kept from prying eyes and unprepared minds. And thieving hands? Well, that goes without saying. Let me see what you've got. All-purpose beans? Can serve any purpose, if you are a master chef. This is a bag filled with mixed beans, not in the sense that it contains some of every type of bean, but in the sense that every bean it contains is a mix of every type of bean. Oh, peculiar. That's, those are some pretty crazy beans. Glass sphere! Glass sphere! This item goes in your offhand, but I don't care, I don't need that. It's a perfectly shaped sphere of glass. 
It'll help see help you see around corners. Well, that's neat, but that's not what I need it for. Absolutely not. Buying it. Absolutely, I have to go do that ritual with my stardust and stuff. Uh, Mr. Callity, the thing was probably stolen from my mummy's tomb somewhere. It's probably totally safe and not cursed even a little bit. I wonder if I can buy it and go chuck it in that pit. Let's buy it. Why not? Magician's pants. These pants once belonged to a stage magician, but they're cursed. Fortunately, the curse is that whosoever wears these pants shall be forever bound to a life of comfort and leisure. That's good. Ring of inconspicuousness. Get more non-combat random encounters. Ooh, that would be nice. Not necessarily right now, but when I hop over to the far, far west, then I might need that because I... It was really terrifying going from east-west to midwest because all of a sudden things were kicking my ass and I had to avoid battles for quite a while. So that'll be really handy. This is a boring little brass ring. It's so boring you don't even notice it anymore. What ring are you even talking about? <laughs> all right, buy that up though. What do I have as a ring right now? What am I? What am I wearing on my finger? Smart thinking, extra mysticality. How long have I been wearing that? And like, do I really need that? I have an extra pistol damage ring. And something that I can sell, meat gain, spell damage, not, I don't want that one. Uh, speed and mysticality. Why am I not using the pistol damage ring? I mean, maybe it's better to have slightly more well-rounded stats, because now all of a sudden my mysticality's, ah, it's still good. My stats are pretty damn great, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that, honestly. Is that everything? That's probably, that's probably everything I gotta do with all that. Let's head to the Dave Yard? That's where that was, wasn't it? Now, where was the Dave Yard? Oh, right nearby. This is another one of those, like, story threads that's been dangling for so, so long. I found this forever ago. I've already fought through that today. Perform the ritual. Hmm, let's see. According to the gross scroll, you need human ashes, some stardust, and a glass sphere if you want to do the ritual. As dictated by the scroll, you spread the ashes in a human shape in the circle and add the stardust and glass sphere while intoning the ritual chant. Dance, magic, dance. Put on your red shoes and jump, magic, jump. Ashes to ashes, funk to funky. Shake it up, shake it up, move it up, move it up. To ch ch, -ch, -ch changes <laughs> The universe, the universe shudders ecstatically around you as the ashes writhe and transform into the glamest skeleton you've ever seen. It's like the skeleton of RuPaul, maybe? Whoa, this is the coolest skeleton you've ever seen! Attack it? Does that really seem like the best option? Oh, the skeleton of Dave B. Wow, he's, uh, he's a bit of a weenie, isn't he? Maybe attacking him wasn't the best option. All of that that I just went through and it just ended with me fighting him? Maybe I should have done something else. You put a stop to the skeleton's magical dancing and help yourself to his sweet knife, the berry knife, because he was buried with it, maybe? Those other things you've been calling knives, those aren't knives. This is a knife. Is this the second time that there's been, like, a this is a knife joke? Or maybe it was the same type of knife both times. What the hell? What the hell? That was the ritual? Do I still have the glass sphere? I used it. I used it up. That's what all this was for? Man, I probably shouldn't have fought him. Was I just expected to have reached this storyline and wrapped it up way sooner than I did? Because that was one of the world's biggest letdowns. Let's give Ghostwood another try. I, I kind of left that one hanging. Presumably I can go back and, and do more there. I kind of, the last time the bureaucracy was just getting under my skin and I was a little bit, I don't know, tired when I recorded and these guys were being just the worst. And I was like, all right, I'm out of here. I'll come back later. I always knew I was going to come back, but I was going to wait it out. I can't take the pencil. So what does everyone need? Uh, I suppose I could issue you a temporary visitor permit. You don't need a pencil for that. Oh, did you do that for me before? What's your last name? Uh, Slinger. Oh god, I should have read all those. Puddin, Pico, Bobcat, Taint, the Grimy, Slim. Middle name? Hmm, what is my middle name? Did I actually pick one at some point? I think I might have. Trouble, Killer, Murder, Justice, Danger. Nice? That's not right. Killer, maybe? The Grimy Trouble Slinger, the Grimy Killer Slinger, the Grimy Murder Slinger, the Grimy Justice, the Grimy Danger Slinger. 
One of those, I swear it came up in the game at some point. I, I can't remember what the hell it was. Great. Where are you from, grimy edgelord singer? That's not what I said, but whatever. A little farm outside Boring Springs. I'm staying in dirt water at the moment. Where are you from, I think, is probably means the Boring Springs. I live wherever the wind takes me. Boring Springs, never heard of it. What is it like? Well, it's not much to look at, but it's home. Boring, just like it says on the label. I miss it already. I'm not even actually from there. Oh, I'm from a town, uh, something outside of Boring Springs. That's nice. All right, how many bars are in the window of the adjunct department of records? What? It's a quiz to make sure you've actually been paying attention to and care about our little town instead of just breezing through to show your dedication. Um, shit, well, I certainly didn't look at that. Six? Oh. Well, alrighty then. I just picked the first option. Correct. All right, everything seems to be in order. Here are your temp Here is your temporary visitor pass. This is just a temporary permit card. While you apply for an actual visitor's ID card, it has grimy edgelord slinger written on it and has probably already expired. Thanks. It expires in 11 seconds. Where the fuck am I supposed to take this thing? Oh yeah, I need to go I need to go to the the general store. So let me just run straight off to there's the office supply. No, that's the general store, isn't it? Knock on it. Uh, excuse me. Hey, can I help you, Mr. Slinger? I need a number three pencil, no problem. We'll just fill out a requisition form. All right. Okay, last name, Slinger. Oh, sorry. Looks like your visitor's permit has expired. Have a nice day. What? I thought it went on pause when we started talking. Do I actually have to go through all this again? My visitor pass expired. Can I have another one? All right, but I'll need to ask a few questions. F fine. <laughs> What's your last name? Tame, Alvarado, Slinger, Goldthwait, Chartwright, and Slapshank. I'll be the grimy Chartwright from now on. Why not? And the first name? I'll be Bobcat Sharpwright. I don't even care. Bobcat Edgelord Sharpwright. Yep, that's me. Oh, but now I'm going to have to remember this when I go talk to that guy over there. Boring Springs. It's home. Uh, it's six. Perfect. Must run over to guy. What does he need from me? Uh, last name is Shartwright. Shartwright. Oh, it expired already? What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa, what? You managed to snag the pencil with the corner of your temporary visitor, visitor permit and yank it out of the cactus. Nice. Oh, maybe because it's a ghost? It's like a ghost thing, so maybe that helps? I thought I thought when it expired, it like dissipated for some reason. Alright. Uh, you yank, you yank it out of the cactus, nice. Oh, wait, this is a number four pencil. Wait, you didn't know pencils have ghosts? What do you think ghost writers use? That, sir, is a number four pencil, not a number three? I was hoping you wouldn't notice. Look, a number four is like 33% more official, right? Ha, huh, nice try, but it obviously doesn't work like that. Why not? Anyone, does anyone want to, like, trade me pencils? It's a perfectly good pencil, I swear. Sharpen! You stick the number four pencil into the sharpener and grind off about a quarter of it. <laughs> so you're, you're left with three quarters of it? Sharpen the ghost pencil. Looks pretty damn blunt to me. This is the ghost of a number four pencil, which you've sharpened the hell out of. Can I sharpen it again? Your number three pencil is already sharp enough, and if you grind it all the way down to a number two, it might cause a problem. Well, all right, I got something to take back to them then. Finally, ah, oh, right, a number three pencil, here it is. That's a number four pencil. No, 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 it's 75% of a number four pencil. I see. I don't see anything about this in the bylaws. Very well, I suppose it'll do. Let's get you started on that visitor identification permit. Thank God, I haven't done, like, anything in this town yet. I'm just b bouncing around. Oh, shit. All right, this time I'll use my actual name because I don't want to have to try to remember that later. Let's, I'll keep Edgelord, though, why not? Hmm, that's not what your temporary visitor permit says. I'm sorry, this can't be considered valid unless the names match. You hear the sound of ghostly paper being torn up. <sighs> Alright, I guess I've officially committed myself to being Bobcat Edgelord Shartwright. <laughs> Bobcat Edgelord Shartwright, there we go. I'm from Boring Springs, and there's six things on the thing. Wait, what? Are they talking about a different thing this time? How many bars are in the windows of the adjunct? Oh my god, but it was six last time. I didn't ask the same question as last time. T Damn it. Alright, how many... 
There's the jailhouse. There's four, and then six. Saloon. What? I don't know what the Department of Records is. I don't know where it is. What am I supposed to have looked at? All right, I'm using I'm using the numbers this time to see if I can speed through things a little bit. Turns out not really. Oh, I screwed something up. All right, I gotta do it with my. I gotta do it with the fucking mouse here. Oh no, wait, that's not my name. Damn it. I was doing half my real name, half my fake name. Adjunct Department of Records. I don't know what that is. I just gotta work my way around it one at a time, I guess. Three, five, two, one. Three, five, two, one. And then nine. Damn it. Three, five, two, one. And then ten. Correct, all right, everything seems to be in order. Allow me to officially welcome you to the town of Ghostwood. Here's your visitor ID. This is the is your identification card for the town of Ghostwood. It says Bobcat Edgelord Shartwright on it and has a blurry photograph that could maybe be you if you squint. Thank you, say, was it always called Ghostwood or? Yes, total coincidence. Hmm, well, what else can I do here? Knock, knock. Hello, Mr. Shartwright. How could I be of service? Geez, finally. I'm here on behalf of the Mayor of Breadwood. He needs a permit to do some logging in this area. I see. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll just need to review the logging records to make sure there are no disqualifica disqualifying incidents. Go to the Department of Records. It's two doors down. And tell them I need the Breadwood file pertaining to logging. Is something wrong? Not yet. I'm just stealing myself in anticipation. Wait, two doors down? The jail is what I wanted? Mr. Shartwright, was it? What can I do for you? Everyone just knows me now, somehow, even though it's not my real name. I'm supposed to pick up a file on the town of Breadwood. Oh, you want the Department of Records? It's next door. This is the adjunct Department of Records. Ah, okay, thanks. You said two doors down. Where am I trying to head to then? Department of Records? How can I help you, Mr. Shartwright? I'm supposed to pick up a file on the town of Breadwood? One moment, please. Breadwood, Applewood, Antiewood, Badwood. Did you mean Bagelwood? No, it's Breadwood, the first one you said. Mm, must be a suburb. Beaverwood, Bestwood, Bitterwood, Bloodwood. Ah, here we are. Breadwood, it was the first one you said. Which section did you need? Logging records. Local gossip. Ooh, it's pretty juicy. I'm afraid you need full residency status before I can share it with you, though. How about the obituaries, then? Oh, you mean ghost birth announcements. Here you go. I can't read this. It's just different sizes of O's. You don't read ghost? Anyway, what I actually need is the logging records. Hmm, the section has been downgraded from disuse. You'll need to pick it up from the adjunct department of records next door. Naturally. Bring it back here when you've got it, and I'll put it in an office interdepartment document transfer folder for you. Is that really necessary? Oh, absolutely. You can't transfer documents between departments without an interdepartment document transfer folder. It's unthinkable. Fine, fine. All right, Mr. Shartwright, the department records sent me over here to pick up a file. Great, which file? Logging records of the town uh, for the town of Breadwood. All right, one second. Ah, uh, mm, ah, let's see what's wrong. Well, these pages are all loose. I can't give them to you like this. What if they blew away? I'm just taking them next door. They're giving me a documents folder. It'll be fine. No, 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 what if there's a freak gust of wind? As soon as you leave here, it would be chaos. <sighs> so, so what do you propose? Well, fortunately, I happen to be the one person in town officially authorized to use a stapler, so you'll staple them together for me. I'd be glad to. But? But I don't have a stapler. Of course you don't. Don't worry. All you have to do is to go to the Department of Requisitions next door and requisition one. So I bring you a stapler and you'll give me a file? Yep. Uh, I'm getting confused of which is which. Is this what I need, maybe? It's a supply thing? Something I can get for you, Mr. Shark, right? I need a stapler. I need to requisition a stapler. Alright. First, we'll need to fill out a requisition form. I figured. Last name? Oh my god. Shark, right? First name. The grimy. No, it's not! That's the wrong name! <laughs> Put in danger, Shark, right? That isn't the name. Oh. Okay. I need to requisition a stapler. Why did I make up a, this stupid name? Three, 
five. Oh, good. It doesn't change. I can just remember three, five, two every time. Let me just check your visitor identification. Bobcat, Edgelord, Shartright. Yep, that checks out. Cake or pie? Excuse me, your desert preference. Cake or pie? Everyone really kind of loves pie in this game, so I'm going to say pie. Ugh, well, despite that, everything seems to be in order. I'll get this filed. Here's your stapler. Wouldn't ghost staples just go right through it? I kind of wonder that about all ghost-related things in this world. It's hard to keep track of. All right, I have your stapler. Now you can staple things. Okay, here you are. Great. Ah, uh, there's nothing better than the new stapler smell. Can I have that logging report now? You bet, Kerchunk. Did he just say Kerchunk? It's people just say onomatopoeias in this game. Here you go, freshly stapled and wind resistant. Breadwood logging report. This is a report on Breadwood's past logging activities. Now you just have to pick up the folder you're supposed to carry it in. I used to work. Uh, I worked a government contract for a little while, and. When I got the job, I wasn't able to start it for five weeks because they had to send back and forth all this like interdepartmental mail nonsense and I had to sign like 17 documents and I would wait a week to hear back and then they'd be like, oh, you got to fill out like four more things. Sorry about that. And then when I left the job, I finished that contract like six months ago and I haven't received my last paycheck yet. I've sent a thousand emails. This pains me so much because I know the real world insufferableness that can be the like red tape of government work. I'm back with the papers. Alright, let me just put these in the office interdepartment document transfer folder for you. The Breadwood Logging Report folder. This is the report on Breadwood's logging activities you had to fetch in an interdepartment document transfer folder. Great. Thank you. I haven't even had to do anything in the saloon yet. I'm just taking this back to the town hall, right? How can I be of service? I got the file for you. The Breadwood logging records? Fine, let's have a look. Oh, for the love of... What's wrong? That idiot stapled the pages together right in the middle. Oh, that idiot used the corner. This is why we took the, his damn stapler away in the first place. Wait, does he mean not the middle of the top? Like the literal middle? You're going to have to take it back and tell him to unstaple it. Uh, it was you, right? You had the stapler? Uh, I can't think of anything. Oh, it was the jailhouse that had it then. Administration wants you to unstaple these papers. Oh, sorry, I'm only awful authorized for stapling, not unstapling. Try next door, the Department of Records. I think they have an unstapler there. Uh, I need some papers unstapled. Okay, I'm fully authorized unstapler, so that's no problem. Mm, spoke too soon, didn't you? Well, it's just that I don't have the staple remover anywhere. Oh, that's right, the Department of Libations borrowed it to open beer bottles. <laughs> Now I can go to the saloon. Knock, knock, but howdy, what can I do for you? I need a drink immediately. No problem, beer or whiskey. A whiskey, I need something stiff. Good choice, but one small problem, though, and that is I'm out of whiskey requisition forms. Mind going down to the administration and picking one up? Yes, I really do strongly feel that I need this whiskey. I'm dying here. That was from the jailhouse that I get this? Oh, where the hell was the requisition forms from? I thought it was the general store. I need a whiskey requisition form for the bar down the street. Bar? Oh, you mean the Department of Libations? Sure, I can give you a whiskey requisition form. Great. Is what I'd say. But I'm out of form transfer envelopes. What? Can't transfer a form to a different department without a form transfer envelope to make sure it doesn't get tampered with during transport. Must be joking. No, sir, this is serious business. I'll tell you what, though you should have a supply of spare form envelopes at the Department of Requisitions next door. Envelopes. All right, which color? Naturally, different colors are for different purposes. Tan for regular interdepartment transfers, blue for extra municipal transfers, red for emergencies, and green for bribes. I just need, I just need tan then. Just regular tan. Mm, we're out of those. Uh, green for extra municipal for emergencies. It's an emergency. It's an emergency. The more I have to deal with this bureaucracy, the more of an emergency this becomes. Give me the red one. Sounds reasonable. Here you go. For transferring forms during an emergency. Or wait, is it the forms that are the emergency? Doesn't matter. Just take the form. I'm back with the whiskey requisition form. Here's the transfer envelope. Ooh, a red one. This You must really need a drink. Here you go. One whiskey requisition form. Oh my god. Bright red emergency envelope. Take that back to the Department of Libations. Get myself a drink. 
and then I can carry on with this sad business. Oh, god damn you. Why? Why have you done this to me? Three, five, two... Let me match that against your visitor ID, Bobcat, Edgelord, Shart, right? Yep, that's all good. Can I get the whiskey now? Sorry, we're fresh out of whiskey. I hereby vow to destroy this place. I will raise the buildings and salt the earth. Now, now, don't get all bent out of shape. If you go tell the Department of Requisitions, they'll set up with a fresh. They'll set you up with a fresh case. Fine, I've gone this far. I might as well. I might as well carry on with this. Is the town hall requisitions? I can't keep track of anything anymore. I swear they're changing their departments on me. I don't know what's what anymore. They bar, I mean the Department of Libations. They need whiskey. Thanks for letting me know. We'll get a case sent over. I don't have to fill anything out? Nope, that'll be handled, handled on delivery. Great. In two days. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this better be the best damn whiskey of all time. Because I don't intend to sleep anymore. Don't look at me that way. There's a lot of processing and forms for a booze delivery. <sighs> okay. Well, what was the other thing that we had to do here? Uh, I need a drink. No, I don't. I need it immediately, and I can't have it immediately. So, do you have the Department of Records stapler remover? Sure do. The thing pops the tops off beer bottles like you wouldn't believe. So long as it removes staples, I'm happy. I imagine it does, but I'm afraid I'm not authorized for unstapling. You have to take it back over to Records. Here you are. And the ghost of a staple remover still looks like a weird metal fanged monster mouth, except now it's in ghost form. Now your office job is even spookier. Like when people do like num 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 when they make a little fake dumb little mouth with it. Here's your staple remover, remover back. My, mo my words are getting all mushed together trying to fly through this here. Great. Let me just have a look at those papers of yours. Tisk tisk. Add junk records up to his old tricks again, I see. These don't even need to be unstapled. That's what the interdepartment document transfer folder is for, after all. Ka-chunk. All right, there you go. Oh, they didn't even need to be stapled. Did I say unstapled? I don't care anymore. Take them back, please. Take back your damn files. I'm back with the unstapled Braidwood logging file. All right, let's have a look. Hmm, 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 Okay, I can't see any problems with this. I'm frankly amazed. Let's get started on the paperwork for that logging permit. I am no longer amazed. Last name. All right, let's get this right. Three, five, two. Edgelord, let me check it against it. Bobcat, Edgelord, chart right. Okay, that's fine. I just need to stamp this here. Kachunk and sign it here. Scribble, and now you sign here. Sign it. And also here, sign it. And initial here, and here, and here. Good. Now just take this back to the mayor of Breadwood and have him sign on this line here and initial over here. Oh, what does it have to say? You need to go to the mayor of Breadwood to sign these uh, his logging permit. Are you kidding me? I don't know how to do that. There's no requisition forms. To get a sense of humor, you can't request that. That's not, uh, I don't even care. We'll just go get it signed. We've gone through all this trouble. My guess, my strong guess is that this signature isn't the last step in the process. I think I need a ghost pencil for this. No, oh, excuse me, Mayor, I have some papers you need to sign for the logging permit. All right, oh, ghost paper? Uh, that stuff is weird. Yeah, I, th I think I need a ghost pencil for this. Loan him the pencil. Here, borrow mine. Sign down here and initial over here. After some fumbling with a ghostly pencil, the mayor eventually manages to sign and initial the form. All right, mayor, I'll be back soon with the permit. God willing. Leave. Oh, I'm not even going to walk outdoors. I'm just going to... Good, I can just click on them without even having to scroll around or anything. Try to save time. You spot a horse skeleton. Loot its bags. Don't really care about any of the rest of it. Wow, that is a lot of smelling salts. Each one of those is going to add one AP. That's going to be actually so unbelievably handy. I'm not sure how much of that I have. I can add 42 AP? I did not realize how many of those I had found at this point. That's insane. Okay, I got the mayor's signature on the logging permit form. Great, just sign this last line at the bottom where it says receipt. Something wrong? You cover your face with your hands. I loan the pencil to the mayor. Excuse me while I go kill everything. I thought it was mildly strange that there was like a specific point of explaining the fact that you lent that you lent that out to him. I got to I got to get some rage out of me here by shooting up some skulls. I I just I can't I can't handle it anymore. I need to kill so I can just feel better about myself. Oh, good. Susie, you can help. Sure. Wow, this guy these are these are not very strong, are they? Get a little bit of the edge off. 
Gonna get a little bit of the edge off. The edge lord's edge had gotten a little too strong. Excuse me, Mayor. Yes, you still have my ghost pencil. I need that. Oh, terribly sorry. I think it's haunting my beard. Ah, uh, here you go. Oh, I, I was like, oh god, if he sharpened this down to a number two, I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. Open it up. I don't even care. Dynamite? Great. Load me up with dynamite. How many dynamite do I have? Do I have over a hundred? Not quite. Still, still a nice amount. Why does it have to be the furthest away building? Of course, it's the furthest away building. How can I base of service? I've got the signature on the logging permit. Great, I gotta sign it. Finally, wonderful. Processing will take about 48 hours. What? Well, everything has to be filed, and the actual permit has to be printed, and so on. You can pick it up in two days. Are you kidding me? I might never get to see the result of this particular quest line? Is it ready yet? Not quite. It'll be two more days. No. I did all of that. I just spent like 20 some minutes doing all that. I mean, that's... I mean... And... And I don't... Uh, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss here. I'm intentionally trying to never die again. What have you done to me? What has this game done to me? What... What do I do now? Play an old skeleton. Huh, what do you know about that? I can't... I don't... I don't know what to do. I'm going to the ranch to shoot some cows, because I don't know what to do with myself anymore. Maybe I should talk to the mayor. Maybe he has something to say about this. Maybe he has an idea of how we could speed along the process. I'm very uncertain, though. I, I kind of highly doubt that he would... <laughs> You would have anything useful to offer me. One quick battle just for the sake of, like, so much experience. I just love the amount of experience you get from this place. Ah, let's level up our glamour while we're at it. Feel like we get a little bit more out of this day. Yeah, what the hell? The other quest that I did today was I went to the, the Dave Yard and I did that thing that basically ended up being nothing. That was, that was how I spent this day. This was... this was the best day I've ever had. These guys aren't doing much damage, but it's taken me a little longer to, to chip my way through them. Don't wanna... don't wanna jack up the, the enemies in this area too, too much and have them suddenly being able to, like, wipe me out. Will not end turn, will not end turn. I just kinda wanna mess around with that and see if I just totally jack up my stats. That's pretty damn cool. I really need to work on jacking up my AP then, so I can do stuff like that, and then still be able to, like, fan hammer my way through things. Quick level up to my glamour. Next one will be extra liver capacity, so I'm, I'm very near to having that at least. Do you have anything to say about any of this? Did you manage to get the permit yet? Not yet. That's it. Well, that was the biggest waste of an episode. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, it was funny jokes and stuff, but oh goodness, it's sad to think that that didn't actually lead anywhere. I hope you guys got a laugh out of it, because oh my goodness gracious, that was just exhausting. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.